Hi everyone, how are you? I'm good and welcome to my channel, Nini Storytime. Today we're going to read Baba Yaga. Long ago, in the land of Russia, there lived a beautiful girl named Velisa. Surrounded by her loving mother and her father, who was a wealthy merchant, Velisa lived a very happy life, until that is, her mother fell ill. One night, Velisa's mother called her beautiful daughter. Velisa, come quickly to my bedside. Velisa ran to her mother and asked how she might be of help. Velisa's mother looked at her daughter and said, I am very ill. I will not be with you much longer. Take this doll. She will protect you when you are in danger. Velisa kissed her mother one last time to say goodbye and took the doll. Once Felissa's mother was gone, Felissa's father decided to find a new wife. However, because he was a, such a wealthy merchant, many scheming women tried to win his affections. One such woman, who had a daughter of her own, was especially cruel and mean. Unfortunately for Felissa, this is the woman whom her father married. The woman with her daughter were envious of Velissa's beauty. They also resented the fact that Velissa's father loved her so. Because of their jealousy, Velissa's evil stepmother and stepsister made her do all of the dirtiest household chores. You aren't so pretty scrubbing the floor, aren't you? Crackled Velissa's wicked stepmother. Your clothes aren't so fine covered in mud water and dirt, are they? mocked Phyllis's dreadful stepsister. One day, the stepmother's jealousy got the best of her. I have a plan to get rid of ourselves for Velissa once and for all, she said to her daughter. While Velissa's father was away on business, her stepmother called out, Velissa, come here at once. Velissa did as she was told. Our fire has gone out said the stepmother. I need to go to Baba Yaga's house to fetch more fire. Velisa shivered with fear for she had heard about Baba Yaga, a witch who lived in the dark forest. Baba Yaga's house stood on the legs of a giant chicken. Baba Yaga ate people. Yet Velisa did as she was told and headed into the dark forest. Her beloved doll clutched into her hands. Soon, Felissa arrived at Baba Yaga's house, where the old witch asked her what she wanted. I just need to borrow a bit of fire, Felissa replied. Well, come inside then, crackled Baba Yaga. Felissa climbed into Baba Yaga's house and became even more frightened at the things she saw. There were crawling ravens and hissing snakes. There were bones and creatures in pickle jars and things so strange that Velissa did not even know what they were. If you want to take home a bit of fire, you'll have to do these things, said Baba Yaga, handing Velissa a list of many, many chores. With that, Baba Yaga left for the day. Velissa was worried that she would never finish all of the chores in time. But when she turned around, she saw that the doll her mother had given her had come to life. Not only was the doll alive, but it had already cleaned Baba Yaga's entire house and done the rest of the chores too. Thank you, my little doll. All of the chores done, Melissa made supper for Baba Yaga and set the table for when she returned. Soon, Baba Yaga arrived home. She had not expected the house would be so tidy. She had hoped that the girl would have done nothing, for then she could have eaten her. Very well, Melissa said old Baba Yaga, you may take a bit of fire home for you. Now get going. Felissa did just that, hurrying back home. When she arrived at home with the fire, Felissa found that her father had returned from his trip, and her evil stepmother and stepsister were gone. Felissa, you were home, said her father. I returned to find that you had been sent to Baba Yaga's house. I told that wicked woman her daughter to leave and never come back. Oh, I'm so happy that you're safe. From then on, father and daughter and doll lived happily ever after. Done.
Do let me know if you like the story and please do like, share and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to click the bell icon and leave your comments down below. Bye!